AD was phenomenal yesterday, um, but it was also the other guys because everybody, a lot of, think they had four other guys, five other guys in double figures, and that's what AD's going to need. I know AD's going to give me what AD's going to give me. I'm looking at AD on a nightly basis now that there's no LeBron, um, so he should get up at least, at the bare minimum, AD should shoot the ball at least 20 times. Bare, I, I'm talking about, I don't care if they up by 40 or they down by 20. Mm. AD should shoot the ball at a minimum of 20 times, Skip. I'm thinking ideally somewhere around 25. That's a nice sweet spot for AD. But Skip, who they had to guard it? Kevon Looney? Really? You think Kevon Looney? Or you gonna put Kaminga? Or you gonna put Draymond? Draymond is a tremendous defender. But once AD get the ball, the best thing that Draymond can do when he's guarding AD is deny him the basketball. Once he gets the basketball, Dr Dr Draymond has no chance whatsoever of stopping Anthony Davis. And he's playing like he's Anthony Mofo Davis. He's playing like he's a top 75 player. He's playing like an all-NBA player. Skip, Anthony Davis should, should average 30 and 12. Skip, he has that kind of talent. I just wish I could pour whatever is in Giannis, pour that in Anthony Davis. Skip, I don't care what anybody says. You can't tell me. I'm not, now, he's not a better player than, 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 than Giannis, but he's more skilled than Giannis. Can put the ball on the floor. That mid-range, Skip, you see that mid-range is falling now? Finish at the rim. Go make 80% of his free throws. But I just, he'll give you 55 and 17, and then the next night he'll give you 12 and 6. It's the, uh, it's the hell to skelter. It's the up down that I can't live with. He's immensely talented. 6'10 and a half. Feathery smooth, can defend on both ends of the court, can block a shot, get the rebound, take it the length of the court, stuff it home. Or he can kick to somebody for the corner three. That's how skilled he is. And on yesterday, it was on full display. And we've seen that since LeBron has been out, Skip. He's giving you the numbers that I expect. Hell, I expect him to give me those numbers when LeBron is in there, Skip. That's what I was expecting. That's what LeBron was expecting at this point of his career right now. LeBron said, AD. Bro, get some of this roll off me. Take some of these groceries. <laughs> when I was a little boy, Skip, my grandma and grandpa to go get groceries. Hey, boys, y'all come around and need groceries in for me and your grandma. Hey, AD, man, take some of the groceries in the house for LeBron. You, you got to do some of this heavy lifting now, bro. LeBron can't carry the load like he once could, Skip. And so now this is AD time to show. But, Skip, he was sick. Skip, he was sent sick. And you could tell early on, couldn't you? You saw how he was in the first quarter. I said, okay, AD going to do this thing today. AD going to do this. Now, I, I wasn't sure they were going to win, Skip, because you know Steph's just getting back, and you know Steph, he likes to make a, he like, I'm not surprised that he came back on Sunday against the Lakers. Neither are you. But I said, AD going to have a monster day today because I can tell the way he started the game. He had that look, I'm aggressive, I'm going to eat Kevon Looney. And Draymond, <laughs> you are just too, too small. Yep. Okay, I, I hear everything you just said, and I'm going to double down or triple down on everything you just said. Because the West is such a mess, because you have so many teams in disarray going almost to the top of the list to Memphis, who uh, we're about to talk about them in a minute, but obviously oh, they're without Ja, and last night they were out without Dylan Brooks, and now Brandon Clark is gone for the year with an Achilles gone tear. God bless him. And I don't know what's happened to the big guy, Mr. Steven, but, but he hasn't been around for a while. And they miss him on the boards and just mm -hmm. as a sort of a defensive anchor. But the, the yep. point is that I, I keep looking up at teams. I, I'm still not sold on Luka Kyrie. Again, they're 33 and 32. And I, I'm not sure about the Pelicans without Zion. And I keep looking up at teams that keep falling back. I'm, I'm not... I'm not sold on Golden State. What, what are they now? Golden State on the road Go is what seven and twenty-four. Seven and twenty-four. Right. That, that's that's impossibly bad for the dynastic Warriors. Seven and twenty-four. Yep. Okay. So yesterday, what, what did I see? With five thirty-seven left, they tied you. Steph had made a big three, then Clay made a big three, and all of a sudden it's a tie game. And then you pull off a twenty-two to fourteen run to finish the game detonated by Schroeder, who 
I know he can drive you crazy and he can come and go, but but he had a couple of big buckets. He, he had a big three and he made two free throws. And that launched the run. And then AD got involved with two free throws and a little six footer and then two more free throws and a four footer. And along the way, Austin Reeves is making free throws and Beasley made a couple of free throws. And Troy Brown continues to make big shots. He made a big three and he yes. made some free throws. So all of a sudden I'm saying, Shannon, I'm not saying it's a great team, but it's a nice team, and it's a lot better than it used to be without Westbrook, the cloud hanging over, and without Pat Bev just causing too many internal problems, causing you as can many you, problems as he causes the other team. Yeah. Can I ask you this, Skip? Are you going to promise me Troy Brown is going to give me 14 points? Uh, Jared Vanderbilt has been unbelievable, he although has. he scored, the score coming and going, but he's been on the glass. Skip, remember he had that, what, that 17 rebound game? No. He just had a 13 rebound game. So are you telling me uh, uh, Austin Reeves gonna give me 16? Now, Schroeder, they say he's playing through an injury because you, the other night, Skip, he wasn't that good against Minnesota. No, he was not. He, 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 he wasn't. And he's struggling shooting the ball, although he did play well, well down the stretch. So are you gonna tell me, other than AD, I'm gonna get five other guys in double figures on a nightly basis? Yes, I believe can you, you can. can. I, I think okay. Rob Polinka did that good a job at assembling a supporting cast here that is credible to me. Austin Reeves has turned himself into a pretty good NBA player. A, yeah, a, a better yeah. NBA player than Caruso was as a Laker. M maybe Caruso was a more hard-nosed defender. Better defender. Yeah, I'll give I you think, that. Yeah. But, but listen. I, I think Reeves is the better offensive player. He just I is. And, and I watched him at Oklahoma, and he couldn't shoot. He, he was like below 30% from three. Well, he's another one. He got in the lab. He got in the gym. And all of a sudden, he's become a trustworthy three-point shooter. He'll make big shots. He yes. knows how to play. LeBron loves to play with him. And yes. Speak, okay, yes. So speaking of LeBron, can they hold down the fort? I don't know when LeBron's coming back, but if he does and he can come back, let's say, 80% healthy, I'll take 80% of LeBron right now. My point is the West is in such disarray that, okay, they have eight of their next ten at home. They should have closed yeah. the deal against Minnesota on Friday night, and they yeah. they just look lifeless. I don't know what happened. And Darvin Ham ripped him a new one after the game, saying, you know, it's not like we're working construction out here. You're playing for the, the most famous franchise <laughs> in, in basketball, and if you, you can't dredge up a little inspiration for playing for the Lakers, you, you shouldn't even be playing basketball. Well, I agree with that. Right. So last night or yesterday, actually out here, that was much better. They should have beaten Golden State as Steph came back for the first time in whatever he's been gone for a month, and they did. Yep. And now all of a sudden I look and, and I say, well, well, wait a second. They they got Memphis, but it's this Memphis without four of its key players. And right. then they got Toronto, and then they got the Knicks. The Knicks are playing at a very high level, but, but, but could the Lakers win these next three? Sure they could. You better yeah, believe Yeah, you remember how – Skip, but you remember how well Memphis played last year when Jaw was out with that I knee? Know. I know. You remember how well they, they went on that win streak? Yeah. So but... don't, don't, hey, this is, this is a very, very talented team. Now, they're going to get Brooks back, uh, who's a defender. They will. He hasn't shot the ball well. He hadn't shot the no, ball well. he doesn't. Because they took advantage of him on Friday. They took advantage of him on Friday night. Jamal Murray was just giving it to him in the third quarter. He was. Now, he only had 15 points, but it seemed like he had all 15 of them in the third quarter. With that being said, Jaron Jackson, they played... They should have won that game last night against your Clippers. They had them. They had them cold. They scored they, they, 51. They, 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 We're about they, to talk about that in the third quarter because Tyus Jones went off. But he is a yes. pretty good stand-in for Ja. He, he's pretty good. Yes. Anybody can score yeah. 20 and, in a third in a quarter of an NBA game is pretty good. I've always yeah, liked and, him. Skip, he had, yeah. And he has a great assist to turnover. He has a great assist to turnover ratio, one of the better ones in the NBA. So they still have guys that can make plays now. Chuck Clark, uh, Chuck Clark, Brandon Clark was their energy guy. He, he comes off the bench. He give you he give you 10, yeah. 12 quick points, seven, eight rebounds quick. Uh, Dylan Brooks, let's see how he gets back into the thing. He comes, yeah. you know, probably walking around on eggshells knowing that, hey, man, they got it in for me, man. They just be calling texts. I don't even be saying nothing, and they be teeing me up. So okay. he'll probably be on his best behavior at least for one game. Yep. No Steven Adams, but the point is, Shannon. No. Your team is still good enough because of everything you just said about AD, who I now call all day yeah. instead of always disappointing. But he, <laughs> he is so good. He's averaged 29 and 14 without LeBron this year, and, and it should be even better than that. 
He, okay. He should average that with LeBron. I, I agree. I totally agree. But he he's capable of carrying this team at least into the play-in. You're now tied for the last play-in spot as we speak. You're, Two you're games good out of enough. five. Okay. Eight out of the next ten are at home. You, you should win, I don't know, six out of the eight. And if you do, you're going to stay afloat. And I don't know when LeBron's coming back, but I'm, I'm here to tell you, if Ooh. in a month or so he comes back – and they're hanging right in there, or who knows? They, they could even be threatening to be the sixth seed out of the play-in tournament. If they're there and LeBron comes back full force, rested, revitalized... They're that, in trouble. Yeah, hey. They're, they're in trouble. I, I wouldn't want to mess if with they, them. Yeah. I tell you what, the boat capsized. Yeah. If you could just stay afloat, if you could just stay afloat, Agreed. the help is on the way. No. I, I agree, That cutter is on the way. No, I do. Because I, I keep yeah. looking up at no, 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 no. I, I don't see it except for Denver. Denver is a handful. Yeah. I got that. And they're yeah. going to have home fee, uh, home court, obviously. I hope so. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So I, I say you're in a sweet spot right now, but, but your big gun is going to have to be that guy. He's going to have to play big it, because you're going to have to win some of these home games. And you mentioned the big gun, and pardon the cliche, he's going to have yeah. to fire every game. He's going to have to, he can have no misfire. Skip, no. he can have no misfires. Now, he's had uh, 19 shot attempts in four consecutive games the first time since 1920. That's unacceptable. AD should shoot the ball 20 times. I don't give a damn who's in the game. He could be on the team with KD and LeBron. He should get 20 shots up because he's that skilled. And so you see yesterday, Skip, he was 14 or 25. He had 28, uh, uh, what was it, 28 19 against Memphis. He had a, uh, now, Friday, we can't have no games, AD, when you have five, five rebounds. Five rebounds. It's no good. It was, that's it's unac that's tolerable. unacceptable. Nope. It won't work. I agree. But, and, yeah. but against this small team in Golden State, Skip, yeah. he did what he's supposed to do. He did. Punish him. Punish him. You need to see more of his fingerprints on the game, where you, where you walk away from the game saying, AD just took the game over. On Friday night, yep. he had, what, did he have 38 or something like that on Friday yeah, night? Yeah, 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 yeah. He had a nice number, but it was those five, it was those five, five rebounds, rebounds that left the side and, my and, mind. And he had no fingerprints on the game because Minnesota's no. fingerprints were all over the fourth quarter. Right. Guys, right now the Lakers sitting in 11th, outside looking in of that play-in tournament, but this Western Conference is so jumbled just a couple of wins could make a huge difference come the end of the yeah. season. We're going we to get the Pelican right. spot, spot. You yep. just hold on, Jay. We're going to get the Pelican spot. Y'all just keep it nice and will. warm for us. I appreciate that, Jay. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.